Well, hello my friends, it's Sean Petit and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Oh, the grungy goodness today. Here are the supplies, very limited supplies, believe it or not. Um, so I'm starting this project on an 11 by 14 MDF board and I have gessoed it black. And now I'm just taking regular gesso with my palette knife and I am spreading it all over the background and I'm just trying to build up some layers here. I have an idea but I wasn't really sure. I wanted that black to peek through so I didn't cover it completely. Um, so I'm just going to layer my gesso all over the back here. So um, I'm glad you're here today and all of the supplies are going to be listed on the blog that I use and the link to the blog will be down below in the YouTube description box. And all of the stencils that I use today will be on sale. And then there'll be a free um, collage element in the subscriber resource library. So if you're a subscriber, you can grab that. If you're not, you can subscribe if you want. Um, yeah, so I'm just getting all of the background covered. I'm, I'm continuing to put that, sh that um, book cover collage piece um, in the middle to kind of see like where maybe I might need some more um, gesso on there. And I really wanted it to be textural and have some movement and just I really as grungy as I could possibly get it. So now I've got some deco art crackle paint. And if you've been around me for very long, you know that this is one of my favorite supplies. The crackle is fantastic. It crackles every single time. It's wonderful. I, I just love it. Can't say enough good things about it. So um, I'm just applying the crackle paint now in certain areas. The gesso's not completely dry. I did hit it with a heat tool just a tiny bit to kind of set it. So I'm, I'm an impatient painter. <laughs> um, I have this idea and when it starts flowing, it's like, oh, I wanna keep going. Um, so I didn't completely wait for the gesso to dry, which it worked out just fine. So I usually will let the, let the crackle paint sit for just a bit and then I use my heat tool. They always say don't use your heat tool, but I do. All right, now we're gonna play a little bit. So I've got, so if you watched last week's video, I used acrylic ink in sepia and put it in a bo spray bottle with some water and I love it. And so I've got my, these are my butterfly stencils. Look at that. It just makes me uh, giddy. I just, I wasn't sure what I was going to get. So this is just me playing and oh my gosh, I just was like in heaven. The grunginess, the, you know, so I'm just, I'm trying different things. I'm playing a little bit. I put a lot of ink on this one and you'll see that it was too much ink. And so I just got basically an outline, which is fine. Totally look at that. It's gonna, I'll use that in a project somewhere, somehow. And just cleaning up some of the leftover bits um, with my tissue paper. And so um, you have to be really careful when you're doing this with your tissue paper because as soon as it gets wet, it's very fragile. So you need to just kind of pick it up and let it be and find a place for it to just sit and dry. I did, of course, use my heat tool to dry the paper because I'm impatient. <laughs> but the images with the sepia um, acrylic ink, oh my goodness, just makes me happy. Look at that. Look at that. Oh. <sighs> just makes my heart happy. And picking it up with the paper like this, it works so beautifully. Oh my goodness. So now that I've got the butterflies done and I'm happy, look at all that crackle. Look at that yummy, good crackle. So I've mixed um, raw umber and medium gray. And I wanted some brown. Gray is a kind of a cool tone and brown is a warm tone. And I wanted the two together because I've got that black in the background and I've got the warm colors of the papers but I wanted to have some kind of contrast in the background that was different than the papers because you need contrast for things to really show up 
And so I just mixed, kept mixing those two together and then with a wet brush, just kind of messily placed it on my background to just give it some color, some um, grungy goodness. This is a sepia ink. And I'm just gonna kind of get, I wanna get some like water staining effect in the background because it kind of goes with the butterflies. Um, not trying to think too hard about it, but just letting it kind of sit there. Uh, making sure that I've got areas peeking out from the main image. And then once I get this all down and dry, um, the, the color is fantastic. However, it is very similar to the papers. So I added this, I added the gray, I added a little bit of gesso to the gray just to kind of lighten it up a little bit. You can still see all of the wonderful layers, but it needed that, that um, color difference. It needed that contrast so that all of the things that I was putting on there were going to stand out. So you can see how that cool, cool gray really kind of helps the focal image, the focal points really kind of stand out a bit. So I'm coming back over the entire piece with some um, alcohol on my rag and just wiping away on, on raised areas um, to kind of bring that white back. Now here's all the papers that I'm going to be using and a couple of these are going to be free to you in the resource library. And here's all my wonderful butterflies. Um, the Yeah, a couple of those will be free in the resource library for you if you would like them. They were just random bits that I had in my stash. So again, I have chosen papers and I've got that white on the outside of that main image um, because again, I want there to be some separation of color um, to help draw your eye to the focal point. So that's why I chose that really white, white paper. And then I'll just layer up all the rest of the papers and put all of that down with my matte gel. And um, I wanted to add a tiny bit more white because white and black are neutralizing and they're also contrast. There's a lot of grunge and darks and sepia colors. And so I really needed that white to kind of be in the background there a little bit, especially because I'm going to be putting my butterflies down and I don't want those to blend in too much either. So I started with my brayer, just a tiny little bit of brayering, just to kind of get some rough, grungy kind of spots. And um, then I'll add some white with my stenciling as well. So now I've got um, my cross stencil, vintage cross stencil, and I'm adding, this is, I'm using the black gesso and adding some black in there to accentuate, again, white and black are neutralizing, and to bring out the black in that spine of the book cover. And then I used the opposite side to just kind of press down and get some kind of grungy little bits. And so now I'm using raw umber and my number, uh, number jumbled numbers or numbers jumbled um, stencil to add. And this is that raw umber color. So it's again bringing in all of the colors together. But when you're when you add those things to the outside of your focal point, it kind of draw it brings your eye into the main image.
This is the Modern Pattern stencil. And I'm just using my finger with some gesso to again, lighten up in certain areas and add a little bit of interest in pattern, like we need more interest in pattern. This has so much goodness to it. This is just my wheelhouse of all things grungy goodness. I just, uh, um, and it, and the message to this piece, or the inspiration, I should say, went right along with my creating, and um, I will share a little bit more about that at the end of the video. But you can see right away how getting that lightness on there lightens the piece up, and just the little bit that I'm doing, it simplifies, because there was a lot going on. So you can see I'm making some circles, and circles are representative of time, the clock, that kind of thing, and it goes along with the inspiration of this piece. I'm using a Stabilo All pencil, and that is a water reactive pencil, and so I just got my little brush out and kind of reactivated some of those lines and kind of made them, you know, of course, let's just add a little bit more to the grunge. <laughs> grungy goodness. Some of those lines were real dark, so I just add a little bit more water to them to kind of pick them up a little bit. Adding a few more lines with my charcoal pencil. Charcoal pencil is softer um, than the Stabilo All pencil. So now I'm going to put my butterflies down and I'm loading it up with liquid Tex fluid matte medium. That is the key when you're trying to put tissue paper images down to get a really clear transparent image. So I put this butterfly down and I realized, oh, I don't have it in the right spot. And I risked um, tearing it pulling it up, but I thought I got to scooch it over just a tiny bit because as soon as you get it down, that tissue paper becomes very delicate and you have to be very gentle when you're putting those images down or you'll tear them. So as I was putting them all down, um, kind of just making sure that everything was covered, of course I tore the top one, but Everything happens for a reason. So I tore the top butterfly and I loved the way it looked so much because it looked like this aged, vintagey, like peeling image. I just went back over the other butterflies and kind of pulled out bits and pieces of them while because it, it was still wet. <sighs> I love it when that kind of thing happens. When all of a sudden you're like, oh my gosh, I just did this. And then you're like, I love that. So all the butterflies are down and they are drying and I am stenciling out my quote onto tissue paper with my archival ink and my makeup brush. And this is the modern pattern font or modern modern font <laughs> I'm going to put those down with my fluid matte medium and then my butterflies were not standing out as much as I wanted them so I just put my butterfly pattern back down and just traced around it with my charcoal or with my Stabilo all pencil first I did it with charcoal pencil and then it wasn't enough so I used my Stabilo All Pencil and it was perfect, perfect. And I will continue to um, just kind of add bits around the piece. I'll shade with my charcoal pencil and I age the edges a little bit, or not with my charcoal pencil, but with my soft pastel, black soft pastel. That's pretty much it. Simple project, really, honestly, for all the grungy goodness that's on it. 
uh, fun times with the acrylic ink. So um, if you enjoyed today's project, please like and subscribe and share and all those wonderful things. And thank you so much for being here and for all your wonderful comments. Um, stick around for the conversation at the end. It's a good one about our time right now and what we need to do with it. All right, my friends, that is it. I will see you next week. Well, hello, my loves, and happy Sunday to you. Oh, my goodness. This is about the grungiest goodness ever, ever, ever. Ah, oh, so, so happy with this. Okay, um, so the stencils will be on sale that I used today. Um, the, okay, this collage paper that I, I was actually going to use more of it and I ended up not using it, this one. This is going to be free in the resource library. So you can, if you are a subscriber, you can um, go on over to the resource subscriber resource library. If you're not a subscriber, you can sign up and I'll have a link to that. <clears throat> um, and in the library, there's lots of goodies if you're not familiar with it. Tons of stuff. Uh, let's see, what else? Um stencils free collage element okay and um let's see what else oh by the time you see this i will have done another um, live video with um Mistel, who is a wonderful artist on her facebook page we did, we're, we're doing a live stream and um we'll be just kind of creating just having fun and creating together and so uh, there will be a replay to that and i will have a link to that um, on the blog post as well um let's see i've got a new workshop that's coming probably in about two weeks i think um, called shelter oh you guys you're gonna love it so keep an eye out for that and that is it I think I think that's all I needed to tell you okay so this piece this piece started with this the time is now it actually the quote that I read was the perfect time is now and I just shortened it the time is now um, because I was I was watching a video this week and I don't remember exactly maybe I read it <laughs> I don't know I watch and read all kinds of different things throughout the week to just fill me encourage me um, just to grow and learn and you know that kind of thing so um, was talking about joy and how we put off joy we put off um, rest we put off things because we think that we've got to get some things done before we're worthy of that or can have that or, you know, and uh, let me tell you, it spoke right to me because I am that person. I am a worker and I'm always, I just got to get this done before I can rest or I can do whatever, play or whatever. And so I just really sat on that this week. The time is now. Um, I have to really take that in and practice it because it's not something that comes natural to me. My husband is great at seizing moments of joy and play and rest and all of those things. He is so good at that and I am not. Um, I, I want to have all of my checklists done before I do anything. Um, and, and some of that's good. And some of that's not good because what happens is I put off what's important because the checklist really just really isn't that important for the most part. Sometimes there are things that you just have to get done. But in general, um, 
I am working so hard to let go of some of that um, control and um, postponing the joy, postponing the whatever it is. Sometimes we even think that we can't create because we don't really know what we're doing or we can't create because we don't want to use up all those precious supplies that we have um, because we spend a lot of money on them, whatever it is, whatever your thing is. Maybe we think we can't work out because um, we're, we're not in good physical shape and we need to do something first before we actually really get really serious. And that's just, it's just not the truth. <laughs> It's not the truth for me, anyway, because I know that I end up saying, oh, well, well, when this happens, then I will do this. And so that's what this piece was about, because I wanted, I wanted to try this crackle and some of the um, acrylic uh, uh, ink and kind of mix it all together and really kind of just make a mess not really have a plan. I mean, I had an idea that I wanted to use the butterflies with the with the um, acrylic spray, which, oh my gosh, but I wanted to have fun. And I, and I, and when I started this project, I thought, if this is just garbage, and it doesn't end up being something that I can share or um, whatever, I don't care. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna start right now and just have my joy right now and my joy is this my joy is just play I mean I just played I had no idea what this was gonna look like and really none and um, there might have been some things that I would do differently or whatever but um, the time is now and so these big circles these are my clocks telling me now is the time to play now is the time to experiment now is the time to put down the list and go fishing with my husband or play with my grandbabies or when we can see them um, when we're not in COVID um, now is the time to take advantage of the to just do the thing whatever the thing is and um, so I want to encourage you today. This is my walk and my journey and what I'm working on. And um, maybe, just maybe, um, you need this um, message too. Maybe um, you, you don't have to worry about that. Maybe you're like my husband who doesn't have um, any problem taking the time to just relax and enjoy and do all the things and have fun um, but maybe your time in, now is maybe you need to get the list done that's my husband maybe he's he's the guy who's like now's the time to actually get the list done so we each all of our different personalities I'm a type 5 on the Enneagram um, all of our different personalities there's always the time is now for whatever your personality type is um, whatever that looks like for you to um, we only get one life and um, I swear the older I get it goes faster and faster um, so my loves, your time is now, your time is now to feel worthy and loved, to rest, to play, to do the list, whatever that thing is for you. I want you to live fully in the now, in the now. All right, loves, that is all I have for you today. I hope your Sunday is awesome and wonderful and restful or playful or whatever it needs to be for you right now. All right, my loves, have a great day and always, always know that you are loved.